Hi there. In the last video, we implemented the room library and added new transactions and it works great. In this one, we will see how to remove transactions by swiping to the right like this. And then there is a little message here where we can undo the action and put the transaction back in. To do this, we need two things, an item touch helper to detect the swipe and a snack bar to show the message and undo the action. So let's start with the item touch helper. In the main activity, let's create a new variable. Actually, it's an object. And let's call it item touch helper equals object colon. So this notation object colon is simply an object declaration. It is just like a class declaration. It also introduces a value into the item touch helper of type simple callback. Basically, it's singleton. So it's item touch helper and simple callback. It's a function which takes two parameters. The first one is the drags direction, and the second is the swipe direction. We won't, we won't use the drag, so we'll set it to zero and set the swipe to item touch helper right. So it only detects right swipes. Even so, we could use multiple swipes. We'll need just this one. Now we need to implement some methods. Click on the object and hit Alt Enter Implement Methods. Select all of them and add them. Okay, the on move function won't be used because we have no drag directions so just return false and we'll work on the unswipe method so here we have the view that has been swiped we can use it to get the transaction that has been removed so we will call a delete transaction method that we didn't define yet but we'll do it just after this so it takes the view holder dot adapter position and we pass it to the transaction so we get the swipe transaction. Then we create the lead transaction function just here. Lead transaction with transaction and here. Here what we do basically is to save the transaction to be able to undo it later. So store it in deleted transaction equal transaction. This one alt enter and create property up there and say to late init. Okay, also let's create an old transaction list to save all the transactions. We will use it too. And head back here. You just save or copy the transactions, copy all the transactions into a safe list. And then make a call to the database. Okay, db dot transaction dao dot delete and want to delete the transaction. Okay, then we want to update our transactions list so it only contains the remaining ones by doing a filter on it. Filter and leave all the elements where the ID is different from the one we remove because ID is unique across all transactions. Then we call run on UI thread and here we just call update dashboard. Okay, now let's head back where we started the swipe action. Okay, now this is already done. 
we need to define another object that instantiate the item touch helper. We need to define another object that instantiate an item touch helper. So let's call it swipe helper and equals item touch helper. Let's pass in the item touch helper callback as a callback function and attach it to the recycle view. Okay, now we're ready. We can test it to see that each element we delete is correctly deleted. Let's run this and see how it goes. Okay, let's remove ice cream. Cool, it works. Total balance is updated and the budget also. Let's rerun it to make sure that the value has been deleted eventually. Okay, it's working. Great. Now let's add the snack bar to undo the action. First, we need to update the material library dependency to be able to custom the snack bar text color. So open the Gradle file and update the version of material to 4, 0, alpha, 1, 2. Sync. Okay. But by doing this, we introduced some undesirable side effects to our project. So let's correct this by firstly changing the app theme and see how it goes. So head to the values, styles, and change this to material, light, no action bar. Okay, now rerun this and see what other changes we have to make. So he pay attention to this button here, it's white and it will turn black. Okay. Also, if we click it, the field has changed color too, all of them. So what we need to do is update all these values and then come back. So let's open the main activity layout and change the, the app tint to white, but first let's create the white color. Copy, paste this, name it white, and it's actually this one. Okay, close and color white. Actually, it's not the background tint, it's just tint. So, okay, now it's working. Okay, so let's also switch the primary color to green. Save and run. Here we have our fields, have our box returns green and the button is green too. And one thing I've noticed is that the minus sign doesn't work. So actually we need to change the transaction layout, the add transaction layout, the amount section and the input type add in the signed number. And that should do it. Let's close this and this and deal with the and deal with the snack bar. So basically the snack bar we want to show it when the when the transaction has been deleted. So on the transaction here, we should call show snack bar. So let's create this function here. Let's create it here. To use the snack bar, we need our main activity to be inside a coordinator layout. So let's create coordinator layout and copy these three fields and put them here. 
set also copy these one these two and all of the rest inside that's it now close this and here we need to bring the view into a variable so find view by id it's a view and the id is actually let's bring this and create an id for the coordinator thing we forgot to do okay that's it here we create a snack bar dot make and this one will take a coordinator view and the message we want it to show transaction deleted and we want it to be uh length long now let's add the action snack bar dot set action the action takes in text to display it's undo and it calls a function this function is undo delete we will create it later then we need to set this the text color the action color set action text color and we want it to be red so context compat dot get color r dot color dot red okay copy paste this Oh, actually we need to give it in the context first this this okay and here we want to change the action text to text color so the message at the bottom would be in white okay then we show the snack bar now before we launch it let's create the undo delete function okay so this one what it does basically is calling the database to insert the deleted action and then update the main ui so global scope launch uh, and here we make db call transaction insert all it inserts a deleted transaction that we saved just here and then we change transactions list to all transactions list that we saved just here too and we call a run on UI thread and update dashboard. Okay, now that's it. Let's launch this and see how it goes. Okay, let's add transaction. Scream minus six add now it's working remove this undo it oh there's something wrong okay uh, we forgot to update the recycler view adapter so whenever there is update dashboard let's call the adapter dot set data to transactions copy this and paste it in the undelete uh, ok 
okay and rerun this time it should work just fine okay remove undo okay remove okay let's rerun it to make sure that it has been saved okay perfect everything works just fine and that concludes this video in the next one we will add the final touch a detailed view of the transaction to see the description and edit the transaction and update it to the database see you then